Welcome back YouTube. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, but I just got the new Balfang UV5R Plus in the mail here. And we're actually going to be exchanging one of our radios for a satellite communication setup with another Balfang. We're going to test this out tomorrow once we have a good pass, but the idea is one of these are going to be used to transmit with the uh, speaker mic, and then the other one, which is the UV5R Plus, since it's lower uh, TX, is going to be used as a receive end. So, since I got both of these radios here, I just wanted to do a comparison video. I know there's not a whole lot of videos out there comparing these two radios. And this is probably the most popular Baofeng radios on the market. So, I've had the F8. This is between the UV5R Plus and the FHH-F-F-8HP. So... This is a radio I've had for a while. It's been uh, pretty durable and pretty useful. I've used it in a lot of uh, field exercises and this and that. It's held up. At one time, it was about uh, it was an APRS transmitter for uh, a month or two. But so comparing these two radios, right off the bat, you notice that uh, the form factor, the uh, F8HP, is much thicker than the UV5R Plus. Uh, you can also maybe notice a bit of a weight difference as well uh, and you can definitely tell that the UV5R Plus is much slimmer in the hand. It may be just a change of scenery but I find that the uh, this is more aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing and I find that uh, the buttons are a little bit more responsive too. It just honestly it feels better. It might just be because I've had this clunky thing for a while now but um, for the sake of comparison, I've also exchanged and put the rubber ducky back onto the F8HP that came, F8HP that came with it. Uh, they're slightly different, uh, but they seem to have the same performance. So both of them come with uh, the lights, uh, and they both seem to be just as bright uh, on either end. Uh, both of them work just as well in that context. Uh, the first change that you'll notice. Uh, on the software side, besides the, the metal plating here on the hardware and the uh, professional FM transceiver, is once you go into the uh, the menu settings, if you go up to power, uh, the F uh, the UV5R Plus is only has two options, which is low and high. But with the uh, F8HP, you have a medium option. So. This right here uh, only goes up to 5 watts on high power. The F F8HP is rated at 8 watts. Uh, now I don't have a way to measure this besides we're going to jump on a, like a little spectrum anal analyzer here in a minute. But multiple tests have confirmed that this is actually putting out the full uh, 8 watts. Or at least the 7.5. So it is. it does have a, a transmission advantage over the UV5R. Now... I've programmed most of the exact same settings on both of these radios because I'll be using them mostly for the same things uh, whenever I'm out. And one thing I've noticed is the UV5R Plus I have, I don't know if it's just with this model, but it seems to have a weird um, receive issue um, whenever I change bands. It's, the radio acts like it's receiving something and it actually lights up the RX light. So I'm not sure if this is a, um, you know, a defect in this specific model, but I've noticed this, and it's kind of odd to me. Now, I've also noticed that it's slightly more sensitive. So you'll notice here, let me make sure these are on the exact same frequencies here. So you'll notice here, Oh, there we go. So they're both receiving this. Now this radio right here, they're both on the same squelch settings. They're both on the same frequency. This radio is receiving, this radio is not. So that tells me that the UV5R Plus is a bit more sensitive. Now, that was one thing that I've noticed is kind of off. So already, I think the quality of this radio is a little better just due to the fact it's just beefed up a little bit more. Um, and now is, there is a $20 difference. Well, this is ranging between $50 to $60, and this is between $20 to $30. Uh, there is a difference in price, so there's probably a difference in quality here, too. Um, we're going to jump onto the spectrum uh, analysis now. 
and just transmit with both of these radios and see what it looks like and what it sounds like from the volume of both of these radios. Alright, so here we are on the computer and I have a RTL SDR plugged in uh, to kind of see the radio spectrum and listen to the audio coming from the radios. And I have the UV5R Plus and then the F8HP and we're going to test the audio on both of these and uh, look at the spectrum here to see if they are different. Now I've made sure to uh, set both of these radios at medium power so you're not getting the full 8 watts out of the F8HP. It makes it a little bit more even. And uh, we're just going to test the audio quality and see how things sound. So the first one we're going to test is going to be the, uh, the uh, UV5R Plus. So I'm going to be testing on a 146 uh, 0.100 megahertz and I'm going to broadcast on both of these radios at that frequency this is Kilo November, November 4, 4 my Kilo, Kilo Bravo, Bravo testing the audio, audio quality of the UV5R Plus, Plus. Oh. Okay. okay so that was the UV5R Plus and now we're going to do the f 8 hp this is, is Kilo, Kilo November, November 4, 4 my Kilo, Kilo Bravo, Bravo, testing, testing the, audio the audio quality of the F8 HP. So, from the feedback um, of what I just heard through my headphones, uh, I thought that the F8 HP kind of sounded a little bit better. It sounded like maybe there was like a tone that was being transmitted with the... Um, UV5R Plus. I'll have to go back on the video and actually check that out, but that's a comparison of the, the radio spectrum and the audio quality between both of the radios. So what I noticed is from the radio spectrum anyways, uh, both of them performed the same. Uh, they, they had about the same output. Uh, and again, the antenna is right behind me here, so there shouldn't be much of a variance in the output power uh, from where I'm sitting, but uh, the graphs look the same. The audio quality, I think, was a little bit better for the F8 HP. I said I'll have to go back and check that out. But my consensus over comparing both of these radios, uh, even with the little time I spent with the UV5R Plus, I think for the money, even though the F8 HP is 20 to 30 dollars more, uh, I think it's worth getting the F8 HP, not just because of the extra transmit power, which is nice. Um, but the overall quality of the product. Now I do like the form factor of the UV5R. Um, it feels great in my hand. The build quality seems really nice. I really like the metal plating, but the little quirks that I've already seen, uh, such as the, re the receive when I'm changing the, uh, the channels, kind of bothers me. Um, and then that little bit of audio quality kind of bothered me as well. Other than that, it sounds nice. Uh, is a really nice radio, especially for $20. That's cheap as dirt, uh, especially in the ham radio world. So if you're buying radio and you're looking to buy Chinese radio, I really recommend that you just spend the extra money on the F8 HP. It's already super cheap, but you're getting a, quite a bit more quality out of the product. Uh, now, if you're just looking for something that you can just throw around, throw in a car, just have with you in a to-go box or whatever, um, you know, the, the UV5R Plus is fine, but if you're going to be using it uh, frequently, I definitely recommend you just go with the F8HP and save yourself some of those little quirks that I've experienced and uh, get that extra transmit power because you never know when uh, a few more watts might just be enough to get to that next repeater. Anyways, if you guys do like the video, uh, make sure you subscribe. There's going to be a lot more experimental stuff coming out here soon due to the um, the fact that I have two of these radios now. I'm going to start trying to do some packet radio over IP stuff. I'm definitely going to be getting out tomorrow and working some of those ham radio satellites with the, both of these bow things to see how they perform there. Hopefully the receive uh, issues with the UV5R Plus won't cause me much issues once I'm trying to work uh, SO50 tomorrow. That'll be on the video so we'll find out. Anyways, if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe. If you guys want to see something with these radios or anything else, that, uh, with kind of the general idea of the videos I do, make sure to leave a comment below and tell me what you want to see. And I just want to thank everybody, especially for this past 600 subscriber milestone. 
We are on our way to the 1,000 mark, which I'm still giving away one of these cheap radios. I know it's not much, but I don't have money, so that's the most we're going to get for now. Anyways, thanks for watching, and 73.